for the rest of this week with our third graders, we're going to just be dusting things off with addition, with regrouping, and subtraction with regrouping. So each student will get a packet that has several exercises with addition and subtraction um, that they will practice on, and I'll continue to provide more as students finish up, but they'll just keep on working on um, the same one day after day, um, getting really, really good practice. Um, this first worksheet is addition with regrouping. I always ask them eight plus eight, 16, digit in the ones place is a six, carry the one, five plus three plus one. If they're struggling with that, I always ask them what digit is, the, or which of those is largest, one, five, or three, five, okay? So let's add one to five, that's six, and ready, six, three more, seven, eight, nine. So breaking it apart and starting with the higher number is usually very helpful. Same thing here with nine plus seven. If they know nine is the highest, they don't need to count to nine, they just say nine, and then they can count their seven. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And if they're struggling with what do I put in the ones place, they could jot down that number 16, six goes in the ones place, Carry that 10, four plus three plus one, four is the largest, four plus one is five, plus three is eight. So the, that's just a very brief description of the strategies I talk through with them with addition. For subtraction, most of the time what they're going to want to do is two minus five is three, because they're just, they don't, they're not looking at the order of the numbers. Remind them, if I have two pencils, can I give you five? No, so I would need to borrow from the tens place. That's a five, I would make one less 10, five, borrow from the five, make it a four, two becomes a 12. What's 12 minus five? A lot of times they're going to struggle to count backwards. If that's the case, well, let's go from five to 12. It'll still give us the same answer. What's that difference between? So if we start at five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, it was seven. And then four minus three is one, I'll just walk through one more with you here. Same thing, one minus six, can't do it because if I had one pencil, I couldn't give you six pencils. I need to borrow from the four. Oh, this one doesn't work because it's larger on top. So we're going to skip that one from the packet. <laughs> Let's look at this one instead. Two minus seven, can't do it. Borrow from the nine, make it an eight. Two becomes a 12. 12 minus seven, if I'm struggling to do that in my head, I'm going to count from 7 to 12. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It was 5. 8 minus 2, 8, 7, 6. Or if I'm struggling to, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Subtraction is just the difference between, so it is okay to count up. So you'll just be working through this with students for the rest of the week. Thank you.